Good morning. It's June 15th, 2013. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm done with this whole daily video thing. I thought I could um, actually make it through the month, so I thought I'd give it a try. But, yeah, I just don't really have anything to make these videos about anymore. And I'm sure I could just ramble about different things like how fascinating this pen is or my glasses or the fact that I'm drinking orange juice although I'm not sure how I could extend that to a whole video or well anything else but yeah that would be kind of forcing it a bit but for this video I guess I'll talk a little bit about motion capture also known as mocap. That's the shorter version of it. Because it's just so hard and takes too much time to say motion capture. Mocap is an easier way to animate because you're using your body to actually control the movements of the character that you're trying to animate instead of having to go and do it manually on the computer. When you're using motion capture in the film industry, you usually have to have the actor wear this suit that has a lot of little bright spots on it so that the motion capture software will have something to track the movements with. But there's another way to do it. There are motion capture devices out there that well, don't require that you dress up like some kind of flamboyant Teletubby and where you can just basically not really wear anything if you don't want to although wearing clothes would probably be a good thing I think the most popular mode cap device for doing it that way is one from Microsoft called Kinect the Kinect sensor is available for Xbox 360 and Windows and it's not only used for animating, you can use it for playing games too if you want to. By controlling what happens in the game the same way you would control the character that you're animating. The nice thing about it is that it can be used with animation software like 3ds Max and iClone. Actually if I had a Kinect sensor, animating this movie thing I'm doing would probably go a lot faster and be easier. Of course the animations aren't perfect, you usually have to go back and tweak them some, but it would still be faster. Unfortunately the Kinect sensor ranges up to $300, depending on where you get it from. Of course you could probably get it a little cheaper on eBay if you're willing to go that route. Anyway, that's really all I've got for this one. I might try doing the whole daily video a month thing um, some other time and hopefully when I do I'll actually be able to make it through the whole month. But I guess we'll just have to see. So I guess I'll just go ahead and wrap this up and I'll see you next time.